What's up everybody, I am Ian, and in today's video, I give you some examples. I don't know, like say, this. But first, a while back I made a short in which I was unboxing uh, a, well, at the time, a new for me lens, the Sony 50mm 1.2 G Master lens. And after I had published it, I was bombarded with as many comments of disdain as there were letters from Hogwarts in the Dursley's chimney. Yeah, let's think about that. And the reason that this short was met with these kind of responses is because I said this. The glass on a G Master lens is beyond exquisite. So I immediately cover the front element with the UV filter. Now, apart from the flaring that might occur, the main reason why so many photographers, videographers, and even cinematographers have a problem with UV filters is because of image quality. They feel that you are putting a cheap piece of glass in front of very expensive glass, usually, that was designed optically for that lens. And you're ruining this by placing something that was not designed for that exact lens and made cheaply. Now to this, I say, let's put it to the test. Here are two images. Can you tell the difference? Can you actually tell me which one of these two images may or may not have been shot with a UV filter in front of the glass element on the lens? If you can't at 100%, no worries. How about at 200%? Can you tell? If you still can't, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna put these up at the end also and give you another chance to really see if you can tell the difference between those two images. Now, the thing about UV filters is that their primary reason for existing is in the title. It is to cut out UV light that your sensor may have not been able to cut through or eliminate in the image. The issue is that nowadays, most of our sensors in those cameras can eliminate the UV light anyway. So there's almost, almost no reason to having a UV filter. Now, many of you may be asking, but Ian, if you don't need a UV filter for UV light, why are you using a UV filter? Well, to that, the answer was also in my short. So I immediately cover the front element with a UV filter to protect against dust, moisture, and damage. And don't get me wrong, Many of you will not need a UV filter for any type of protection against dust or elements in the sky or in the air simply because you are not in situations where those things are kind of a constant for you. If you're always shooting in the studio, it doesn't really matter. If you're a macro photographer on watches, it doesn't really matter if you just do you know, daily vlogs or uh, home setups or that kind of stuff, or you game, it doesn't really matter. But if let's say you shoot things that the elements are a little more prone to be in the air, I don't know, like say this. <laughs> It's not the why, it's the fact that it's my art. Photography, videography, cinematography, these are all styles of art. These are all different mediums of how to express your art and your creativity, and that is it. So the fact that so many people felt the need to not only tell me that I was wrong, but to tell me how stupid I was for doing so is so out of the park left field in terms of how we should be reacting to people's artwork. If the tool gets my job done, it doesn't matter. And on top of that, I even say why in my short, I need it. And that's it. I didn't tell anyone else that they needed it. At the end of the day, the tools you use for your artwork matter to you. Do they get the job done? Yes or no? Are they able to help you express your story and, and share your story through visuals? Then no one has a right to tell you yes or no. It's your artwork. That's it. It's 100% subjective. All of the people telling you you're wrong for the way you do it, let them. It doesn't matter because they're more focused on critiquing your process 
instead of understanding your end result. Speaking of results, I believe that in the car, I had told you that I would give you the answers to those two photos that I showed earlier. Let's put them up again. And now at 200%. And were you able to tell the difference and let me know which one may or may not have been shot with a UV filter at the end of the lens. Now for all those who think the first photo is the one that had the UV filter, you are correct. And for all those who believe that it was the second photo, well guess what, you're also correct. These are actually the same photo. I shot both of these with a UV filter. It's actually the exact same photo and you just got placeboed. I'm sorry, but it happened. For anyone who thought that they could tell the difference, there is no difference. That is exactly my point. You can't tell, really, outside of pixel peeping. You can't tell when things were shot with a UV or without a UV. So quit hassling people on the tools that they use. And you know what? That's all I got for you this time. I'll see you guys on the next video.